How you doing everyone? Welcome to Make Money with Oscar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh boy, well today you click on this video, it's how to make the most money on my Roth IRA for 2021. Very interesting question, right? Uh, we're gonna end 2020 right now. I already maxed out with $6,000. How about you? Have you done it yet? Well, if you haven't, I think this video, if you watch it till the end, I wanna tell you, I mean, pretty much all the strategies I use. So at the end of the day, what I want you from this video is for you to make the most money possible. With that being said, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so we'll see if we happen very soon. Let's go ahead and pretty much join PowerPoint. Very easy, very good tool to use. So, alrighty, how to make the most money on Rod IRA and on this video guys i'm not gonna rush i'm gonna talk slowly i'm gonna go very you know uh, at a good pace so everyone knows what we're doing and all the questions please let me know in the comments below now these are my strategies and this is what helped me the most to um feel really good about it right now in 2020 so this is what i'm gonna do 2021 now put most of most or all of the money that you have in the first month now i have that for the Roth ira you have six thousand dollars per year at this time that's the limit for a 401k it's less than 19 it's less than twenty thousand dollars right it's close to twenty thousand but it's a lot of money right in this case i'm going to be focusing on the Roth ira now let's go to fidelity and actually i'd like to show you why am I saying to you in the first month? Well, the reason, guys, is the following. Let's take one of the worst years in, um, in the American uh, stock market existence, which is actually 2020. Um, we're living in, in a pandemic time, but it's something beautiful that you have to see. Now, we have S&P 500, which that's one index. We have the nasdaq which is my personal favorite and we have dow jones i'm sure that you've heard some of them right so s p 500 if we see the first year when it started january the 20th right 2020 it started at 3200 points and we are at 3600 points as you are seeing right now on the screen now we experienced one of the worst years ever when it comes to the stock market and still the market was able to recover from that loss. S&P 500 embodies 500 companies, now Tesla, right? So it is a great index for you to check out. If we go to NASDAQ, it started at 9,000 points and right now it's at 12,000 points. And Dow Jones started at, let me see, around 28,000 points. And right now it's at 30,000 points, even with a pandemic year. So if we go five years, let me show you exactly what I'm, what I'm telling you. Five years. And where is, oh, here it is. Five years. So if you look at how the stock market behaves, it always starts at a lower point and then at the end of the year it increases right that's the nature of the stock market guys so this is to tell you and and i think the one that you see it the most is nasdaq like at the beginning of 2016 it was four thousand points everyone that's i mean it's 2020 that's four years ago and right now it tripled it's insane that's so much money made millions of dollars made so if you are gonna put money in your Roth IRA guys do it in the first month possibly even in the first week if you can of course that's why I'm saying put most of your money or all very very quickly because if we just experienced a pandemic and it's still recovered if you put money in your Roth IRA as early as possible you're gonna make the most money just because it's gonna take that money at the very beginning of the year and increase it by the um, compound you know, interest growth that just 
the, the funds are giving you. That makes sense. Because if you put that, that money at the end of the year, well, all this, if you go back to one year, all this, right, you're losing it. I know that if you're also in stocks, you could see a higher return in stocks. But remember, the Roth IRA is not for today. It's for the future. This video is how to make money for the future, right? Typically, I post my stocks videos. Those help you make money today, but this is for the future. Now, that being said, now you know the first bullet. Put most of your money or all in the first month. Personally, I have my Robinhood account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw some money from that account and put it in my Roth IRA. So I don't worry about that. I will have $12,000 out of my own money put in my Roth IRA. But by the time 2021 ends, I guarantee you, buddy, that I'll have probably close to $14,000 to be very considerate. Because once this new administration comes, vaccines are going to be happening. People are going are, are, are gonna to be going back to school. Cinemas will open and so forth. Air, uh, the, air, the airplane industry and the cruise industry, it's going to blow up. So in the good way, right? So you have to be thinking in those terms. So um, that's what I mean. Second point, guys. Choose high growth and aggressive mutual funds, right? So I'm going to spend a very good time explaining you what I um, what I did before in my first how to um, use Fidelity for Beginners, which is a really popular video here in the channel. Go ahead and watch it um, if you want. I'll, I'm going to link the link as well. But uh, let's now go to Fidelity. So thank you so much, Yahoo Finance. Now let's go to Fidelity. If you have an account on Fidelity, great job. Now, let's go ahead and go to my portfolio so you see exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Look at this. I have almost $10,000 in my balance, praise the Lord. I am not gonna count, right, this, which is, this is coming from my employer. This is my own personal retirement account. And it's growing, it's growing, right? Right now, I uh, I believe I put most of my six thousand dollars back when it was at eleven eight hundred. So right now it's at twelve something, right? So I'm making money. I put it, and now it's uh, I it, it it's growing by almost four hundred dollars. Beautiful, great job. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what you have to do. So go to mutual funds, and then explore our funding here this is where you want to be so all of this all of this guys is exactly what you can choose to put in your Roth IRA and I'm gonna tell you my personal favorites because if I'm in your shoes guys I want my money to grow as fast as possible right it really depends if you are young thankfully like me um, that's I think the approach you want to choose but if you are in your 50s or 60s or even 70s, which you actually are able to withdraw your money if you want, you might wanna be something more stable like bonds or money market accounts. So let's assume that you are in, my, in your 20s or 30s, so you want aggressive growth. Let me show you exactly what you wanna do. So first, you wanna make this your, better, uh, your greatest friend, large growth. So we're gonna compare most of them. Personally, what I have, it's something called index mutual funds. And I have this one, the Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index Fund. This is a great one. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do. So the Fidelity NASDAQ pretty much like as the word says, f follows the NASDAQ index, the one I show you, right? Right here. The one right now that is popping off really heavily Reason why is because follows mostly uh, most of the uh, technology companies and it's really popular. Now, you're gonna go ahead and click compare right here. And I'm gonna show you some of the mutual funds that either stay similar to NASDAQ or even are have greater returns than NASDAQ. 
and I have them right here. So the first one is F O C P X. The second one is F B G R X. Third one is F T R N X. And the last one is F S P G X. All of them are offered by Fidelity. These are Fidelity mutual funds. And I'm gonna show you here what I'm talking about. So these are the hypothetical trend if you had $10,000 invested back in 2010. So you can see that, I hope you're able to see this. I'm gonna actually zoom in. There you go, I think that yeah, you can see it better now. So this is exactly what's happening. And let me go to the year to date because it, you're gonna see it even better. There you go. So because the 10 year gives you one view, the year today, I mean, represents what happened even right now with the coronavirus, because this is February and March. So these are all amazing stocks. And just to give you an idea what I'm trying to say, do you remember the S&P 500? Let me show you. If I click right here, look, here's the S&P 500. That's the growth that happened with the S&P 500. Let me show you bonds. You see the bonds? They don't move, they're very stable. And Russell, look at that. So now you're able to see really all the analytics, all the data visualization you want, but look, the one that has the greatest returns is Fidelity, Fidelity Blue Chip Growth Fund. And then the next one, it's a battle between Fidelity OTC Portfolio, Fidelity Trend Fund, and my personal favorite, Fidelity Nasdaq. Now, you might say, well, why don't you just choose the red one, right? Because you have to look at this. This is a more snapshot overview of each of these funds. All of them are large growth, but some of them have less returns than the others. In this case, you're gonna see that most have higher return, but here's the catch, the expense. You do have to pay a ratio for owning that mutual fund. The one I have is this, the Fidelity NASDAQ, which I pay really low, and I still get a lot of return. Where compared to the red one that has greater returns, you pay more. Now, these fees are not really huge, but as you are pouring more and more funds and more shares of this fund, you know, they accumulate. But if you guys want the greatest returns for 2021, and if you feel that technology is where, I mean, it's where it is, I guarantee you, you're gonna make a lot of money with this. Now, let me just give you a comparison. So on this one, Fidelity NASDAQ and Fidelity Blue Chip. Now, the reason why you see higher lines, higher return, it's because there's more technology investing on them. Let's go to top 10 holdings. On my NASDAQ, there's 46%, as you can see right here. Let me show you the Blue Chip growth, 47, right? Even there's this one, the OTC, if I'm not mistaken, has like 50. Last time I checked, yes, do you see that? 52. So if we go back to our chart and if we say 10 years, you will see that instead of the red one, now is the light blue, which is OTC. You see the change? So right now it's a really different year because of you know the pandemic and everything that happened but in a normal year you're gonna see growth like this and i don't really need the highest return as possible or what i mean is i don't want to pay as much of fees but if something is like the nasdaq is giving me great returns at, a, at the at the least ch uh, cheapest price i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that now the la one of the last things that you can also do, guys, is if you go back here and if you click research all index funds, it's going to give you another tool where you can find even, you know, just more information, which I found today. 
and here it gives you exactly what the mutual funds are offering and the year-to-day daily percentage so the one that gives the most right now is the nasdaq for sure you click here and now it gives you top to least so real estate as you can see right here is the one that is negative with fidelity all right so now I just taught you exactly where you can go to find the best and the most aggressive growth for this 2021 because I'm going to be continuing with NASDAQ. I think it's a great choice and a very cheap price. Alrighty, now let's go and continue to the third one. Don't pay money out. You know, don't, don't take money out of your rot. And that's one big one, right? If you are putting money in your Roth IRA, it's not for you to take it before you are. How, what age? Your age is going to be 49 and a half years of age. You leave money there and that's it. If you want to take money out, let me show you what happens. So assuming that I'm in, on my Fidelity account and I want to have, I, I want to withdraw money, so I go to my accounts. I go to transfer and if I select from my Roth IRA let's you know read what it says early withdrawals may be subject to a 10% penalty I'm not 59 and a half years of age I'm gonna pay some some it, this is not even taxes this is just a penalty and there are taxes on top of this so don't do that just you know leave money here because it's money that you're not going to touch for a while i know it's difficult it's it's not um typical you know to hear someone saying oh yes i have six thousand dollars that i'm not going to spend on beer um dumb stuff a car payment like uh, a loan it's money that you're investing yourself in the future for your family so just have that on mind right you don't really want to withdraw money because it's going to get a penalty but still, um, you can do it if you want. And the last thing, guys, is you can also call broker for any questions. Rollover IRA. Let me show you. So in my case, Fidelity is a broker that I really like because I can call and it's very easy to talk to them. They don't re really leave you hanging for a while. You also have this. Uh, let me move my. Oh, let me just scroll down. Oh well, let me move my camera here. So you see this, this is the chat icon, so you can click it. And then, like if I click it, it's gonna open this chat and you can talk to a Fidelity assistant. I mean, it's honestly really, really nice. I call them many times and my most recent one is because I have some money from my employer in my retirement account and I want to move that money to my Roth IRA so how do I do it well I call Fidelity I had to go to my messages I took a picture of those forms I sent them to them in the secure message system now they re they replied saying you know what perfect just wait five to seven business days and that money is gonna start getting processed the only thing you have to do me Oscar is to create a rollover IRA. So the money from my employer is gonna get to the rollover IRA. And then next year, when I qualify for another $6,000, because right now I already, um, you know, have taken full advantage of, the, of my contributions, next year I'll be able to roll over the money on that account to my Roth IRA. And that's it. So, Make sure either you go with Bangor, Fidelity, you name it. I would obviously recommend Fidelity in this case. Um, make sure it's someone who can trust and keep your money safe and, um, and all that good stuff. So guys, that is my video when it comes to how to make the most money for 2021. I personally am very excited. Uh, in my you know, Robinhood portfolio, I'm already breaking more than eleven to $12,000 extremely happy for it but if you have any questions with fidelity let me know in the comments below really happy and blessed that i'm you know back and ready on on, on youtube so if you don't mind also like this video because that really helps me and let's continue guys so i'll see you in the next one and you guys be safe peace guys take care